Well, welcome to another vlog. Um, this time around, uh, I am in a beautiful location in County Wicklow um, with a very specific goal in mind, and that's to observe, film, and photograph the wondrous uh, courting display of the Great Crested Grebe. Now, this isn't just the story of the Great Crested Grebe. It's also the story of a, an extremely interesting and complex um, man, Julian Huxley. And Julian was the grandson of Thomas Huxley, who was uh, known as Darwin's bulldog, insofar as he was a vociferous supporter of Darwin's theories at the time, and very outspoken in that regard. Julian, in 1914, um, following largely in his grandfather's footsteps and his grandfather uh, mentored him in many respects with regards to a, a passion for uh, wildlife, um, a passion for evolution and for knowledge. And Julian went um, to a reservoir in uh, Tring in Hertfordshire in England to, over the course of a, a couple of weeks, to observe the Great Crested Grebe courtship. And he made a profound observation, a simple but profound observation, and a, a step forward and a, a step apart from what Darwin had proposed. So Darwin had proposed that the, the male of the species uh, would uh, uh, fight for the right to copulate with the female. But the great crested grebe, uh, both male and female, have similar uh, plumages uh, in the breeding season. These wonderful tuffets uh, or plumes uh, on the head and they're quite magnificent. There's a pair of great crested grebes around 200 yards over to the right of me now. That's why I'm sitting on this side of the hide so that they, they won't associate me with the hide. And they're a little bit far away for filming. I got some distant shots. The plan is to go over to the far side of the lake um, this afternoon, set the hide up and leave it overnight or else go back early tomorrow morning. The Huxley um, set out a number of ceremonies and ritualizations uh, between the uh, prospective great crested grebe pair and bonding is uh, preceded by uh, twanging calls led either by the male or the female and that moves on then to a number of fascinating um, uh, dances if you will now the twanging calls if picked up by either male or female are um, subsequently embellished with wonderful dances if you will first of all we have the cat display and then he describes a ghostly penguin display. Next up, if things are going well, uh, the pair of grebes uh, move on to a retreat ceremony. And, and this wonderful interplay between the two, um, the, it, 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 it culminates in a magnificent uh, weed ceremony. Uh, this is where boat birds uh, dive down um, take a piece of uh, pondweed uh, from the bottom. They surface and run at each other. And that's what I'm here uh, today to try to um, experience, to film and to photograph. But it's not happening here. You know, I've scouted this area last week. The grebes are in the center of the lake. Um, and I thought that the prospective nest site might be here to the left of me but it's, uh, I feel it's over on the far side of the lake. So I think I'm gonna pack up now, make my way back and uh, proceed across and over and just try to scout out a good site to put the hide up and to observe uh, that behavior. So I've now moved over to the far 
light up here and I've also set up a little bit of additional camouflage in some twigs and whatnot. Um, I'm beautifully set up right on the edge of the lake. So if I um, use the bottom window here in the height, I will be at that water level. That's exactly where you want to be at. So you're eye to eye with the bird. It's so quiet here. It's absolutely stunning. So the plan is I'm going to chance leaving the hide um, overnight. And therefore when I come back before sunrise tomorrow morning, there should be the least amount of disturbance. I know there will be a little bit of disturbance. I'm just trying to minimize that. Get quickly into the hide tomorrow morning. Lie down. I might not bring the chair or the tripod. But just take a chance that the green will be somewhat close. And we may see that gorgeous. Thank you. 
it's about uh, 10 30 a.m and the sun has come up and there's a clear sky above so the light's effectively gone from a photography point of view but i've had a wondrous time experiencing what julian huxley uh, documented back in 1914 and i may return here uh, over the next week or so um, as this pair of griefs that I've been watching this morning um, progress their uh, relationship towards uh, bonding and the egg laying and nest building. Um, I'm going to pack up now because the light's gone and I've had a fantastic morning and I don't think I can top it. Um, the greaves, even though I thought they were closer they're still quite distant. They're very wary birds. We have to remember that great crested grebes are one of the main reasons that the RSPB were set up in the UK. Now having a, a million or more members um, back in the Victorian times, um, uh, the tuffet, um, which is the, the headdress that you'll see in the photographs here of the great crested grebes, were used uh, as an adornment in hats and um, the birds were shot to near extinction. There were 30 to 40 pairs of, of, of grebes around about the time Julian Huxley uh, went to study them. So he did very well in finding a pair of grebes um, at that uh, reservoir in Hertfordshire. So I'm going to leave this vlog uh, there and I hope you join me next time and if you enjoy the content please do subscribe and give me a, a thumbs up. So until then, thanks for watching.